back of town in Negativeville. Now, what has happened over the years? Um, He's under the sales tax tab in your big number.
total of fair analysis, but I want to put it out one more time. Can you comment on the removal of these authorities? Oh, yeah, I did put that in here. The part of that change in the form of Red Y-19 was that because some of this is calculated on the population, I think it's mainly the city's breakdown, um, they, they couldn't include the authorities because the authorities have no population. So the development authority and the recreation authority no longer get TF-15. Um, so they, they've taken it yet in terms of not receiving those funds. I don't have a number of what they will receive. Um, the significance, Jerry, you've heard those comments made at the Parks and Rec are meeting. They are uh, calculating that now. They realize there were there would be a reduction in their revenue. So uh, do not be surprised if you receive requests from those two authorities referencing that loss of revenue and perhaps requesting that you so make up that. I do know they have, and I'll have to check, I don't think I can see the Airplane 19 audit. They have managed their money very well and have been fiscally responsible and have no service, just like the county. Yeah, yeah, the director of the court. So that's not to say that they can absorb that loss. Um, that's just to say they're in good shape and they manage it, at least for the short term. How much of their budget, how much is the parks and rec and the minimum sales tax? How much of their revenue is made by that sales tax now? They have a uh, mill and a quarter. Mill and a quarter. That's not a sales tax. No, but they were getting the TABT because it's more or less a property tax that you're paying on your vehicle. Initially, it was formulated. I guess on the if they had these buckets and then they had this thing called True Bob, and then it went to all the different governments. But this new formula doesn't have anything to do with that. The state is just flat set for sales. Okay, first of all, your government, county government, or your overall government is going to get X percent. Then this much is going to go to cities, this much to county. And I think it's when you get to cities, they then have to break it down somewhere and use population. So that's who the authorities out. There's no way to calculate that think, for authorities. I think that the General Assembly heard from counties when we began to see the reduction in the TABT and we were told we'll make you whole. And those numbers were not making themselves. So I think the General Assembly perhaps reacted to try to address that issue. And then they are hearing from the city saying, we are not being what we. So now this is another adjustment by the General Assembly in time to uh, address the impact of their original decision. So that covers that. If you turn to the next page, I've got the different sales taxes, the local sales tax in here. Excuse me, I've got a question. Oh, I'm sorry. Just to back up just a half a second. When, does anyone know when we expect those numbers as far as how these authorities are affected by the TABT? When we will have that information? I mean, is there some sort of projection on that? No, I, I can pull that up today because I have the tax commissioner's payouts from last year. Okay. They, they were experiencing the shortage. I, I understand, but yeah. I mean, if we're going to get an ask, you might yeah. have, potentially I'd like to kind of know what they're actually what? coming up and short on. They, they usually track the way I set up the system of tax commissioner's offices. It's high tax and so on. Distribution. So you, you're so, able to provide that to yeah, us. So there should be a TABP distribution to the 
recreational program. Gotcha. Okay. If you so can that have that you a large problem when they were in. Um, and then I think they were cut out this year, but I need to verify that. It may have been, I think it was part of this fiscal year. Thank you. Um, your sales tax is due in grade. Uh, both of them. It's a sharp increase. Your your way over your budget amount for loss, which I'm sure Stephanie's thrown about. <laughs> um, but the only reason I can see, while I'm hopeful that if, you know sales continue to grow in this county and every county, the ones I track. The only explanation I have is if you were to see the numbers by month, it first went up January of 2019, and that's when internet sales started being collected. Um, so um, that's not bad. I'm just saying that it's not necessarily growth in retail sales. Um, but thank goodness you're at least getting that. Um, and like I said before, the governor evidently has expanded that even more. So those will continue to rise, um, which will be very helpful when we get in. We start the next floss this month. So that's going to be very helpful in meeting the number we estimated. Because we estimated much more conservatively. So it's all, I, I almost, unless there's a deep recession, I think you could easily stand in mildly during the six year period. I really believe we're going to hit the mark on that, which we haven't done in a long time. So that'll be good. The next page has the SWAS 8 laid out. One of the things we try to do, and we did with this last SWAS, is we found the previous SWAS is we needed to consider from the referendum what would be expected to be needed, especially if it was an outside authority. Um, the first time we ran this problem was when the bonds were being paid back. They had to be paid back. It didn't matter what the sales tax was doing. Well, everything else had to be cut, cut, cut so that we could pay the bonds. So this last watch, we had a category of 100% funding to be sure that whatever they was felt was needed would be there regardless of what the swatch did. And then we adjusted the ones up top. We haven't settled on this mix, but this was the fairest mix. And I think it's manageable, but I'm, I'm working with Chad to settle on those numbers. Now keep in mind, you came in at 84% of the referendum for the last box because it was $15 million overall. This one was, uh, this one was more than 50 million, 150 million. Um, this one's only 130 million, and so even my projection right now, if I had you come in at 94, 95%, a 5% variance is going to be much easier to deal with than the 16%. So, <clears throat> if we look at these um, projects that Harrison's proposing to be at 100%, I think y'all understand why we are looking at those as 100%. I'd like to know if you have any feedback you might share with us now on validity of these remaining in the 100% or not. Uh, obviously the purpose is for all of those generally are for construction improvements or construction of new facilities. Uh, and in the past we have, when we have had a project where our projects where our spots came in, as Harrison said, less than amount anticipated, we have had to uh, basically short funds from the <coughs> projects such as Ford Sewer or uh, roads, street 
failure, et cetera, et cetera, um, in order to make up that deficit or difference. So that is the reason for these. Um, we, there may be some proposed changes, but that's where we are as of today. Makes sense to me. The only, the only two things that I would look at moving from the adjustable to the 100% funded electric storage facility and the 911 center improvements. I would look at funded 100%, those two things, and then everything else be adjusted. As far as 100% projects, mm -hmm. are you okay with those? Yes, I do with those. Actually, that's just my thoughts. And those are relatively small amounts. So initially, I actually had the court house down below, but at that level of expenditure, it really puts a lot of burden on the ones up top. Those two being small, it's not going to have that much impact. <laughs> EMS facilities and equipment, is that the typical the ambulance and the possibility of the addition on the big special? That's, that's what that is. And um, that is just right. sure. There's also been some uh, federal funding, Chairman, I think that you got that email from the um, <coughs> Association of Defense Communities, mm -hmm. where there's some possible partnership on infrastructure public safety projects that are in close proximity to military installations. Chad's running that to ground. They've still not got it all sorted out at the top. But if we were to apply and receive those funds, that would be 30%. Um, so we, we could get some help with that too. And if, and if any projects in the 100% come under, that doesn't mean uh, you have to ship them just in that category. They could be shipped up. Uh, we're just doing this internally to manage it. So it's not like any projects, the money can be shifted around between projects or the spot. Same way if they're over budget? Mm -hmm. Well, if they're over budget, we usually have to, and I'm working with Chad right now on an over budget situation on the last slots, and we all are getting ready to move some stuff around when we came in under. Mm -hmm. So when they go over, yeah, we've got to shift from another project. Yeah, where they didn't need this much. But you can do that. You can do yeah, that. Just because you have a value buy it doesn't mean that. No, it's a, pure, it's a pure estimate. It's just a budget. And for a six year estimate, there's no way you can get them all right. And right. he got a bunch of them right, but they're just well, going to be parts of that. It's going to run a couple hundred thousand. And we are looking at revenue concerning our use funds to be able to cover that. Because those are, we did some value engineering in that to get it reduced as low as we could, and some costs still came in above. So we will, we feel comfortable we'll be able to cure that. What's the I, I like what you said, you know, just logically speaking, I mean, there, there is an item on it that wouldn't have been on here if we didn't free up that $3 million. So I, I mean, I, I don't see no reason possibly considering that. And then we didn't even have that on there. You're talking about the uh, senior, senior center. And it, uh, yeah. We remember the three million that we all mm -hmm. came up with. Mm -hmm. We had to just made until you know what I'm saying, that three million was freed up, so logically speaking, I'm just saying that was something that was projected to do without anyone. <coughs> so so we, you, we had to take the cut. <coughs> you know, oh. so you're you're saying that if we had a problem on the entire funding. You would look, from your opinion, you would look to the reduction of what we didn't count anyway. What we didn't count anyway. I'm just, I'm just well, we had an issue because we didn't know we had the funding. We had allocated the funding, but apparently it was a need. That, that is a line item. Yeah. Yeah. This is only so it's, right. it's, not, it's not routine no. where you might be able to not do that. It is a that's right. So that project will have to be built. Yeah. You don't have to do two and a half million, but you have to do it. 
And well, well, that's, well, that's what I'm getting at. We had to take some away. Yeah. Just yeah. like logic is speaking, we, we wasn't going to do it anyway. If they do it for less, that money will shift And just for my clarification, I assume that was going to parks that are they in charge of the centers or is this going to be a county project? The same check. It will be like our others. We will work with them on the project. We will build it. They will accept it. Just wanted to clarify that. Okay, the next page is your T spots. Um, what they do on this, I'm not trying to get on this. You're part of the South Georgia region. So the South Georgia region collects so much in key spots. And then everybody's given a part factor, which I put the Lowndes County's down as 0.0869671. Um, that's just the Lowndes County factor. The cities have their own factors. So every county and all the cities within those counties have a factor. So that's how they come up um, with the local government amount. And then ultimately you receive 25% is covered with the local governments. But then you, Lowndes County, receives a, a smaller portion. So then you can see how that's tracking. It's holding pretty steady. Of course, it would follow um, the spots and the walls because it's just one of the same. It appears to be doing fine, and of course, Mike has to tie that in with the state funds and the projects and they work together to actually implement the projects. So, so just to some degree, I mean, it's nice to have the money sitting in a local account, but at the end of the day, <laughs> the state's going to be paid out of years. <laughs> but that's fine. So I think they felt like they had to give something to the local governments. So basically, 25% of the total T spots money goes to local governments. Right. And Alice County, part of that 25% is 8.7%. And it's, but those collections are coming in, the last report was about 15% of what they have projected. So it's based on a dollar amount over a period of time collected. But right now they're projecting that the cheese plots could actually end as early as right now, 18 months ahead of schedule if the trend is based on the collection. Because it's all project specific. And keep in mind that the, uh, also the projects that are the of projects are still Lowndes County projects. Then you've got the 25% non-discretionary that you can spend any way you want to spend it in reality, as long as there is transportation available. Mr. Chairman, you say that also you said um, basically, I can explain that. Once the money is collected, they stop ceasing the cease tax. That's correct. Right. So, I mean, 18 months uh, ahead of time, it has to be. If the trend continues as it is, and we know that 10 years is a long time, and we can have some up and down in the economy, but if the trend stays as it is right now, then it could even as early as 18 months earlier than what we projected. Okay, on the next page, I have the analysis we do every year of just key factors. 